Okay. Hello everyone, we'll just start in a couple of minutes. I'm just waiting for all the students to join in and then uh, we will begin. Hi Saurabh. Okay, another 30 seconds and then we'll get started. All right. Okay then, hi Jia, hi Donna, hi Saurabh. We are back with another guided newspaper practice session today. Um, so as usual, we will be doing three rounds of the whole article. The first round will be a mixture of listening and reading. So here is where we will understand the article thoroughly. The purpose is to have a look at English content and consume it fully, okay? Understand everything that's mentioned. Um, after that, we will be doing speaking. So we will pick out a particular paragraph and we will go very slowly. We will read two to three words at a time and we'll ensure that we are able to get the stress, the pause, the pronunciation, right? After that, we will be doing a guided uh, writing exercise where you will express your opinion. You will tell me what you think of the entire article. And then you will also give me sentences out of some of the new words that we learned today. Okay, so that's the um, entire objective. Hi, Saurabh, Jia, Donna, Murtaza, Babicha, Deepti, Swati, Madhvi, Ajanta, Chinmay. Good to have you in class, Chinmay. Jobi, Balvinder, Gayatri. Okay, good. All right. All right, Murtaza, I'm not getting your question. Anyway, all right. Okay, harmonious means smooth, okay? Seamless. All right, let's begin. Okay, so this particular article today is around a conflict between two countries, okay? Between Armenia and Azerbaijan, all right? These are the two countries in question and there is some kind of a conflict here and Russia created this peace deal, okay? So the peace was kind of negotiated by Russia. So that's the entire article that we have in question, okay? Hi, Aman, Khatija, uh, Bashid. Good morning. Wonderful. Hi, Ansi. All right, let's begin. So on Tuesday, that is the 10th of November, Russia brokered a new peace deal between Armenia and Azerbaijan. So a good word right at the beginning, brokered. What's the meaning of this word? Tell me, Russia brokered a peace deal between Armenia and Azerbaijan. So tell me, what could be the meaning of brokered here? You might have heard of broker, right? Um, people who help out with uh, finding places to rent and so on. Hi, Dharini, welcome. Very simple. Think about it, think about it in context. Very good, Chinmay, Saurabh, Donna. Hmm. Others, what do you think? Many of you approaching the answer to a large extent. Good, Zafar, Swati, yes. So Russia negotiated or arranged, okay, or mediated. All right, so they are the ones uh, who act as middlemen, right? So if two friends are fighting, uh, a third person gets in and say, hey, relax, don't fight, what's the issue? Let me help you out. Okay, so that kind. So Russia was that kind of a friend here who is mediating the entire discussion. Okay, more like a neutral umpire kind of thing. Correct. Okay, good. Murtaza, Ajanta, Mustigola, Tina. Correct. Sai Teja, Deepti, Jobi. Correct. Now, so what happens? Russia brokered a new deal between Armenia and Azerbaijan. The two countries that have been in a military conflict for over six weeks over the disputed region of Nagorno-Karabakh in the South Caucasus, okay? So what do you mean by disputed? In the disputed region, tell me very simple again. Disputed, yes. So if there is a dispute, it means that there is some kind of an argument, some kind of a fight over something that uh, the two parties are not able to come to a consensus. 
Okay, so if there is some kind of a disagreement due to which there is a flare up, there is a fight, there is an argument, we will say there is a dispute. Okay, so this region is disputed. What do we mean by that, especially in geographical terms, is that this country is also saying that this area belongs to them and this country also says this area belongs to them. So therefore, there is a military conflict. So a conflict is again um, uh, an issue, an argument kind, but when we say military conflict, maybe there was you know, uh, intermittent firing and so on, okay, that kind. Or maybe there is a face of that kind, okay? Now, during the course of the conflict, what do we mean by course of the conflict? During the tenure of the conflict, considered one of the most serious in recent years, this conflict considered one of the most serious in recent years, over 1,200 have lost their lives as per the Nagorno-Karabakh authorities, while thousands have been displaced. Now tell me what is the meaning of displaced? 1,200 have lost their lives. Yes, you understand that, right? They probably got killed. While well, thousands have been displaced. What do you mean by displaced here? Good, Namisha, Donna, Ansi, Sadhna, Deepti, Aman, Ajanta. Good, Jobi. Good, Murtaza. Tell me. Very simple. Try to catch the hint. Place, displace. Okay. Good, Shinmai, Babicha. Yes. Very good. Ajanta, Mustigola, Janardhanan. Yes, Deepthi. Very good. Okay, Aman. So when I say displaced, they had to be forcibly moved out to some other location. Okay, so maybe if uh, a particular area is the uh, prime zone of war, right, people can obviously continue staying there, right? They have to collect some valuable belongings of theirs and then move away. They have to go somewhere else, maybe to their relative's place, maybe stay in camps and so on. So they were forcibly moved away from their permanent locations, All right? Good, many of you getting it right, very nice. So let's see, let's go forward and see what's happening here. So the, how was this conflict solved? What deal happened? The deal, which is meant to end the conflict between the two nations, was signed by Russian President Vladimir Putin, Azerbaijani President Ilham Aliyev, and Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan. Okay, so the deal was between the uh, among these three countries. Okay, but Putin mediating the whole thing. Since the conflict started in September. Multiple ceasefire agreements have been signed between the two sides. So the conflict started in September. Since then, from September onwards, there were multiple ceasefire agreements. What do you mean by ceasefire? Who can tell me this? Good, Sam. Namisha, a lot of you getting it right. Very good. Madhvi. Not immigrate in this case, though, Madhvi. Immigrate is when you do it more of choice, right? But here you don't have a choice as such. Yeah. So when I say cease fire, the, the meaning of the word cease is to stop. Okay, so stop fire. So stop um, your military firing. Okay, so multiple such agreements have been signed between the two sides, but none so far have been successful. So they signed the agreements, but then um, later on, after a day or two, maybe they continue firing again. Those, so the fights flare up one more time. So then what's new about this? What is the new peace deal then? Let us see. As per the new peace deal, both sides will now maintain positions in the areas that they currently hold. Okay, So wherever you have the Azerbaijani army and the Armenian army, they will just hold their position there. Nobody has to go back or come forward. They will just hold their positions. But what is happening here is, which will mean a significant gain for Azerbaijan, as it has reclaimed over 15 to 20 percent of its lost territory during the recent conflict. So are you understanding this? Are you understanding what's going on here? Why Azerbaijan has an advantage? Yes? Conflict is a fight, Sam. But a fight of a little more serious nature. Okay? Very good. Yeah. So see, what's happening is, as per the new agreement, um, Azerbaijan and uh, Armenia had to hold their position, but then Azerbaijan had come a little forward. They had already claimed some of their lost territory. So now if the deal says that they have to just hold their positions, Azerbaijan has an advantage. Okay, that's what's happening. Now, further, 
under this agreement. So whenever you say further, it's more like adding a sub point, right? So that's what's happening under the agreement itself. Something is getting added further under this agreement. All military operations are suspended. Okay, so no more firing, no more, uh, you know, testing in that area or stuff like that. Russian peacekeepers will be deployed along the line of contact in Nagorno-Karabakh and along the Lachin corridor that connects the region to Armenia. So all these areas of interest, Nagorno-Karabakh and uh, Lachin corridor, will now be patrolled by Russian peacekeepers. Okay, so they would be. Um, given the duty of monitoring that area so that neither sides once again start fighting, right? Now, these Russian peacekeepers will, with a force of roughly 2,000, will be deployed in the area for a period of five years. So for five years, Russia will be in that disputed region so that uh, neither side once again, you know, initiates war. Okay, good. Hi, Shiv Kailash. Good. Others. Aviva, Tenzin, Janardhanan, Ajanta, Aman, Saurabh. Correct. Now, Refugees and internally displaced persons will return to the region and the adjacent territories, and the two sides will also exchange prisoners of war and bodies. So are you able, able to understand what is the difference between refugees and internally displaced persons? Tell me. Because there are two terms itself, you might be able to catch a hint. Refugees, and then you have one more term called internally displaced persons. So then what is the meaning of refugees? Maybe we can call it externally displaced persons. Does that give you a hint? I'm just asking you to guess the meaning because in your reading test, you might come across such situations where you need to guess the meaning, right? You might not know the meaning of all the words, however good your vocab would be. Good, very good. Many of you getting the guess correct, yes. So refugees are basically from, <coughs> sorry, from the other country, right? External, so externally displaced persons. So if someone from country A is moving into country B because of the conflict in country A, then that person becomes a refugee, okay? S sitting in country B. So now what is being said is such refugees. So I, on either country, you will have refugees, right? From this country, people have moved here. From this country, people have moved here because of the conflicts uh, along the border. So refugees and internally displaced persons, which means even in the same country, people would have moved from city A to city B because the tensions in city A are too much, okay? Will return to the region. They will return to their locations and the adjacent territories, okay? And the two sides will also exchange prisoners of war and bodies, okay? So all the prisoners caught by either country will be exchanged, including bodies um, of all those who unfortunately died will also be exchanged accordingly. Significantly, this is something that we did yesterday. So importantly, so an important point is coming up. A new corridor will be opened from Nakshivan to Azerbaijan, which will be under Russian control. So this particular uh, area, Nakshivan, is basically like a landlocked area inside the other country. Okay, so you have Azerbaijan and then you have Armenia and then you have a little area inside Armenia that belongs to Azerbaijan. Okay, so pretty complicated. Right. So how does uh, how do now the people of this particular pocket Nakshivan go to their country, the, the main area of Azerbaijan, there is a little corridor, there will be a small patch of road where um, people from Nakshivan can go to Azerbaijan. Yes, are you understanding the meaning at least what's going on? Just give me yes, if you're able to understand the meaning of this. Let's keep going forward. Okay. Now. The BBC reported that a large crowd gathered in the Armenian capital to protest against the peace deal. Obviously, now Armenia is unhappy, while Azerbaijan's Aliyev has said that agreement was of historic important, importance, Sorry, which means um, it will go, go into the books of history. It is a landmark um, agreement and so on. Yeah, able to understand. Hi, Vishav, Chanvi, Aviva, Janardhanan, Tenzin, Nandana. Shiv, Ajanta, Jobi. Very good. Very good. Okay. One more paragraph and then we'll move on to the other activities. This is now what are the stakes for Russia? So why is Russia so interested in the peace of these two countries? Okay. Let's see. So the author says Russia's role in the conflict has been somewhat opaque. What do you mean by opaque here? 
you might have heard of this term back when you were in school especially in your science class what do you mean by the word opaque russia's role in the conflict has been somewhat opaque since it supplies arms which means uh, military equipment to both countries to both countries and is in a military alliance okay military agreement tie up with armenia called the collective security treaty organization ah yes very good all of you correct so the opposite of transparent is opaque okay so the uh, as, as per this line it means that russia's role in this conflict has been somewhat unclear okay we can't really see why russia is doing this okay now why is it unclear because it likes both the country so it's not like it has some kind of favoritism towards one due to which you know it is getting involved it supplies arms to both countries so it is supplying uh, military equipment to both countries okay so it has these arms business going with both of them and is in a military alliance with armenia so sometimes it also supplies troops okay so soldiers to armenia as per this agreement okay so in a statement released last month so dmitry peskov the press secretary of the president of the russian federation said russia has always taken a balanced position on the matter so what do you mean by balanced position neutral position okay it does not want to take sides it is neutral and has traditionally good relations with both countries what do you mean by traditionally good relations it means that from the past it has had good relations with both of them it has been in good terms with armenia and azerbaijan okay so it is acting like a peacekeeper but it's not really sure as to why it is doing this exactly what is in it for them is not clear what is their selfish interest is not clear okay fine all right all right i hope you could understand whatever is going on here now tell me your opinion on this what do you think about this deal now there are multiple angles um, based on which you can comment okay so you can say that azerbaijan got um, a larger piece of the cake because they had already come in um, to some length and then this deal was brokered or you can say that uh, we don't really know exactly because usually in such conflicts people keep referring to older events of history and so no one side can be completely right or you can say that russia maybe has um, some other interest which they are not revealing now there would be something um, for them due to which they are getting so heavily involved what do you think or do you suggest some other solution in such cases i think the united nations should have been more proactive that is their very job to ensure peace among all countries what do you think tell me hmm you can pick any line of thought you want good so chinmay has an interesting opinion to make so chinmay is saying more supply of weapons so if um russia ensures that this conflict continues then it can continue supplying weapons right so maybe it looks like it wants to proctor a deal but it doesn't really seem so okay it it won't really be in the future okay others what do you think give me full sentences of your thoughts they should practice peace because many people are losing lives very good good one sorab sorab says the bottom line is people are losing their lives and this is not something that people should play with right so just for some strategic push and pull we should not um end up sacrificing human lives so that's a good opinion to have sort of ajanta says conflict in border area is crucial it has to be solved peacefully in case of kashmir as well yes multiple countries are involved in such border disputes and the only solution is peaceful resolution so good ajanta good opinion to have what does murtaza say communication or healthy discussion plays a vital role beautiful 
in avoiding. Hence, Russia played a crucial role in rectifying the issue. Very nice. Very nice. Good start, Murtaza. Good introductory sentence and then um, kind of supporting it with an additional one. Good job. Aviva says, despite the involvement of Russia, other countries should be involved as well. Good one, Aviva. So Aviva says, why only Russia? Why not other neighboring countries around them? Okay, why are they being a bystander to this? So good, good Aviva. Good, so Janardhanan says, Russia's help looks neutral, but this signifies an interest in something. Okay, so probably there is some underlying selfish interest that they're not revealing right now, but, um, but as per the evidence with us, it looks neutral. Good. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Okay. So now what we will do is we will jump into a speaking exercise now. Okay. So let us do this particular paragraph. So now someone asks you, what is the Nagorno-Karabakh region? So someone is asking you this question. Okay. Now you have to answer it, but you're not going to read it out from a piece of text. You are going to genuinely communicate. So you're going to use the right stresses, pauses, tone. Okay. So that um, whatever you want to say goes across with the right emotion. Okay. Good. Others, Namisha, negotiating. Good. Tina, good one. Kind of like Syria, don't care. Good. Donna, even Russia's motive in initiating is opaque. Good. Well done on using a good word. Good job. Okay. So let us start with this. What is the nagorno karabakh region? Straddling Western Asia and Eastern Europe, Nagorno-Karabakh is internationally recognized. So stress on the word internationally, internationally recognized as part of Azerbaijan. But most of the region, repeat, is controlled, repeat by Armenian separatists, by Armenian separatists. Okay. Straddling means one leg uh, in Western Asia and one leg in Eastern Europe, that kind, okay, straddling. Yes, straddling, okay. Don't say straddling, okay, straddling. Straddling Western Europe, East, Western Asia and Eastern Europe, nagorno karabakh is internationally recognized as part of Azerbaijan, but most of the region is controlled by Armenian separatists. Okay. Now, Nagorno-Karabakh has been part of Azerbaijan territory since the Soviet era. Okay, so you're saying really long back, so punch this, okay? Since the Soviet era. When the Soviet Union began to collapse in the late 1980s, like a story now, okay? Uh, a history story. When the Soviet Union began to collapse in the late 1980s, Armenia's regional parliament voted for the region's transfer to Armenia. Okay. The Soviet authorities turned down the demand. Yes, doing it with me, almost like a story now. Yes, just give me yes, if you're having that little storytelling tone. Okay, now let's move forward. Years of clashes followed. Years of clashes. So clashes went on for several years. So you're going to punch that word. Years of clashes followed between Azerbaijan forces and Armenian separatists. Okay. The violence lasted into the 1990s. Leaving tens and thousands dead. Okay, leaving tens and thousands dead and displacing hundreds of thousands and displacing hundreds of thousands. Okay. In 1994, pause, comma, Russia brokered a ceasefire by which time 
ethnic Armenians had taken control of the region. Okay, had taken control of the region. All right. I hope all of you did this completely. Just type done if you're done. So this is almost like reciting a story, right? So what happened in the past? If this happened, that happened. A little bit of drama in your voice, okay? And punches wherever there is something very significant going on. So years of clashes, okay? Russia brokered a ceasefire. So once again, Russia's involvement even in 1994. So Russia brokered a ceasefire, okay? A key player, all right? Tell me, did you punch any other word apart from the ones that I did? Did you punch up any particular word, especially? Good, Nandana, Tenzin, Ajanta, Shiv, Saurabh, Aviva, Murtaza, Janadhanan, Donna, Namisha, Katija, Janbi, Sadhna, Shiv, Jia. Good, everyone. Very good. Okay, so now what we will do is we will go into sentence formation. Now, the first one, um, a word that we came across in the very first sentence that we did today. Okay, good, good punches, everyone. Controlled most since the Soviet era. That's a good punch to have. Ceasefire, Sai Teja, good. Tens and thousands, Janvi, good. Shushti displaced was a word you punched. Good, good, makes sense. Very good. Now, the word for you today, the first one is brokered. Okay. Now, I, I don't want you to use this as a noun. Don't tell that uh, I met a broker who could arrange for a rented house. Okay. I'm not looking at that usage. I'm looking at the verb. Okay. So the two countries uh, brokered an agreement after several rounds of discussion. Okay, it's like they, they came to uh, a conclusion. Okay, some kind of negotiation. You can even use it as a mediator, just like this one. So you can say the government had to um, broker an agreement between the management and the workers. Okay. Now give me a sentence with broker. Indian government brokered a new law. When my friends are fighting, I brokered. I brokered down in between them to stop the fight. Okay, you can say I brokered the discussion to stop the fight. Others tell me not very difficult. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, now as you guys are framing the sentence, I will also look at the next word. Okay, let us do conflict next. Meanwhile, good Balvinder, I brokered the conflict between America, the America, the United States of America, Tina. Or you just say America, okay? Brokered their military support to Kuwait. Okay. Not um, fitting in exactly. Broker is more like negotiating, like arranging. So here you're saying they're giving it totally. US brokered a new agreement between India and China. Business analysts brokered the knowledge gap for developers. Okay. America brokered the Kashmir dispute. Indian parliament brokered. Okay. The companies brokered an agreement. Yes. An agreement can be brokered, right? Someone being the, mid, the middle person. Okay. Good sadhana, but you're using it as a noun. You're saying, claiming to be a broker. 
Okay. Here we are using it as a verb, as an activity. Okay, but good. Go ahead, Mr. Sharma. Okay. The next word for you is conflict. A conflict is a serious disagreement or serious fight. Okay. So that's called a conflict. Something that lasts for more than that moment. Okay. So usually, uh, if someone gets on a fight because uh, a person's car bumped into someone else's car, that is just a fight. It's not a major conflict. Okay. But if do both of them go to court okay then it can become a conflict okay okay there is an ongoing conflict between india and china good similar good sort of others conflict very easy not pretty straightforward yeah Yes, Biden brokered an agreement so to support migrants. Good works, Donna. Hmm. Others. Very simple. Good, Shristi. The conflict between husband and wife was so serious that they had to go to court for settlement. Good. The Ethiopian conflict made thousands of people to lose their lives. Good, Aviva. I solved some conflicts between my two friends. Good, Balvinder. There is a big conflict between India and Pakistan. Yes. The two business friends came in a conflict after they faced a huge loss. Good, Amanpreet. Very good. Very good. Nice job. Okay, good. Next, let us take another word. Historic is something. Okay, let's do this one. Opaque. Opaque. Opaque means not transparent. Okay, something that you can't see through. Transparent, think of, you know, a white, um, um, a, a, a glass sheet, okay? And you can just see through glass, right? Whereas opaque is something like a book, okay? You cannot see through it, okay? So it is used in the figurative sense when something is unclear, not transparent, okay? So I will say his intentions are opaque. My, my friend uh, approached me for a job but he already has one. I think his intentions are opaque. Okay. Means unclear. I don't know. Yeah. Others, conflicts between RJD, Congress, Gurmutza. There is a conflict among the USA people, people of USA regarding past president's election. Good. Satna. The Syrian government is in serious conflict. Good. Tina. By which peoples are forced. There's just people. There's no word as peoples. Okay. Without the apostrophe, that is. Stone is opaque, good ship, but it's a very simple sentence. Okay. Use it in the figurative sense. Congress claims that working of EM, EVM is opaque, good works. Hmm. There were some points in the offer letter which were given during joining, which were opaque, good, sort of, very good, relevant, correct. Very nice, everyone. Hmm. The entire picture of the crime is opaque. Good. His intentions for studying were opaque. So be good. Nandana, wood is an opaque object. Correct, Nandana, but you're using it in the direct sense. Okay. Use it in the figurative sense. When something cannot is not very clear, not very transparent. Okay. When the information is not complete. Yes. Kept its details opaque. Good. Oh, good ship, Kailash. Technical is opaque characteristics are putting everyone in conflict. Good, guys. Very nice. Good job done, everyone. Nice. So that brings us to the end of this uh, highly interesting article um, covering the conflict of Azerbaijan and um, Armenia. We did three rounds. The first round where we understood the whole passage. The second round where we took a particular paragraph, read it out very slowly, focusing on the stress, pause, pronunciation. And finally, we did a writing exercise where you gave sentences out of new words and you also expressed your opinion. And you, you, you told me what you think of this conflict. So good job done, Karek, Bashir, uh, Shalu, Sadhna, Gayatri, Murtaza, Janardhanan, Shiv. Good, Khatija, well done. Okay, so that brings us to the end of the class. Now I will uh, tell you very quickly about certain advanced programs that we have. It is not for the existing ones, of course. Okay, those who have already, already in it, this announcement is not for them. It is only for those who wish to know more and want to get it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Now, what is this exactly? Um, to tell you quickly, 
I'm just locating the screen. Yeah. Okay. So uh, this is the admissions form basically. Okay. So I will just copy the form and I will paste it on the live chat box. So uh, in this particular program, you have all the learning features, basically fully recorded lessons inside the mobile app, daily life classes, then you have 10 full length mock tests and you have doubt clearing all of this valid for 90 days. So it basically packs all the features into one. You can pick and choose, use whichever you want to based on your schedule and uh, your level of uh, language and accordingly take it ahead towards your score. Okay. So the form is uh, given on the live chat box. It is also on the uh, video description. Just fill it up. Our counselor will get in touch with you, have a discussion with you, and then you can get in. Yes. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Murtaza, Sadhana, Shiv, Sam, um, Deepti, correct from the recent, very good. Shushti, Jobi, Ajanta, Kenzin, Aviva, yeah, done. Thank you, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye. I'll see you in the next class. Bye-bye.